Welcome to Siva 718. Welcome back to the channel and thank you for all the new subscribers we received lately. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with that notification bell so you can always be updated anytime we release a video. Guys, I finally got my hands on one of these own watch 4K Pro streaming devices. I finally got it. I had ordered it um, about a week ago and um, the store I ordered it from canceled my order and said it was out of stock so after trying several locations I was finally able to find one in a Walmart Supercenter and I picked it up so here it is so this is it right here I already have it connected to my uh, Wi-Fi set up the beginning now for those who want to know how to get your developer options and your unknown sources the first thing you need to do Let's head over to where it says settings click on that now let me scroll down the system as you can see my developer options are here but in the beginning they aren't there so what you would need to do is head to the about section you're gonna head down to where it says the uh, Android TV OS build and in your remote control there's a select button it's the little black circle within the circle. Of course, that's that's the select button. You're gonna press the uh, Android TV OS build a few times. It's gonna do a countdown. Once the countdown is finished, it's gonna say you're a developer. Hit the back button. Scroll down to developer options. And then from here, you enable the developer options tab right there. And the USB debugging tab right here and you should be good to go now once you have that activated you can um head over to the google store actually the play store and you can get different apps here one popular app is downloader so once you finish doing your search for downloader just click on it of course it's the one by eftv you're going to install it once this installs launch it and then from there you can go to different websites you can head to uh, the uh, unlink website or you can just put the unlink code in um, that code I will leave somewhere in this video and then once you put the unlink code download the unlink and then you can install the unlink application and then from there all you would need is an unlink store code if you guys want my store code you can head over to my telegram my store code will be in that group um, if not, you can just do a Google research. There's a lot of unlinked store codes out there. So that's how you can get yourself some third party applications if that's what you're looking for. Okay, guys. So that's very simple. Now, as far as specs, as you guys know, I don't have to go over this too much. It's already been out for a little bit. As you can see, it has more RAM, it has more um, memory, three gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of storage. Um, it does have Wi-Fi 6. Uh, one cool thing I did see is that the device itself look like looks like it's a speaker. So I don't know if you guys know about the uh, uh, Amazon Echo. So it's kind of like that. It has like a you know external speaker built into the device, which is you know decent. Um, they also have a hands-free option, but you have to turn that on. So to turn on the hands-free option you can head over to the settings um, after settings go into uh, privacy and it should be somewhere here let me see Google assistant and then right here hands free mic and you can turn it on here you're all set you can now use the Google assistant's hands free and you will say by using the uh, keyword right there um, let me see if you guys can actually hear it let me try it hey Google Who's playing in the NBA tonight? The Celtics will face the Cavaliers today at 8.30 p.m. Okay, so I don't know if you was able to hear that, but um, that was the device talking to me. And as you can see, the results are on screen. So 
that was hands free. So I turned on the hands free option for the own device. Um, you know what? A lot of questions. Is this better than a Fire Stick? I'm keep hearing that. Um, I'm gonna say this to you: the Fire Sticks, especially the 4K, the 4K Max, the uh, circuitry, the hardware, how it is made. I feel like everything that was used to build in that device is better. Even though this has more memory, has more uh, RAM, even though it has more, I feel like Fire Sticks are built better. And why is that important? Well, it's like computers. You know, when you have a computer. Let's say you use a, a third-party motherboard that's not, you know, known, you know, and you, you give it all these specs. Now, can the motherboard handle the specs long term? Will it overheat? You know, um, the longevity of the device is in question. So I feel like we have to continue to use this device. And in time will tell if this device lasts then I would say it's better. But if you have to continue to purchase this device numerous times while you still have a 4K Max still working, then no. You know, for example, um, let's say you bought a 4K Fire Stick today and you bought this on today. Which one you think is going to last longer? You know, I had a few own devices in the past that did not last at all lasted maybe six to eight months you know um some of them have remote control issues now i will say this remote control is better um i did see an article that stated that there's a big button on it that says free tv that's not true the one that i have does not have that button so if that was a question you had the remote control does not have a button on it that says free tv it does have the youtube the netflix the paramount plus and the disney plus buttons on the bottom but there's no free tv button um, there is a button, however, I want to talk about, there's a button on the top right of the controller that has a star on it. Now this to me is cool. This is something that I think that if you're comparing Fire Stick with this device, this is an advantage that this device has that the Fire Stick doesn't. The star button, when you press it, it gives you two options. It gives you the display of the inputs, but it also gives you this open favorites apps option. Yes. Yeah, so. Now this button, when you press the star button, it launches an area that says create a shortcut for your favorite app. So don't mistakenly think that you can select all of these apps. No, you're going to select one app. So let's say you always use HBO Max. Now HBO Max isn't one of the four buttons on the bottom. You have YouTube, Netflix, Disney, and Paramount. So Let's say you go, I don't use those a lot. I use HBO Max. You create a shortcut. Now that I created a shortcut, every time that I press that star button, HBO Max should open up. As you can see, there's HBO Max right there. You know, I can sign in, whatever. Boom. So that's cool. That's a cool option right there. This gives you the ability to create your own shortcut button. And that's something that the Fire Stick lacks, unless you purchase one of their um, expensive remote controls. You know, that one that doesn't come with the device that you got to purchase separately. They do have that. But this one comes right out the box with the own, and it's really cool. So there's a lot of specs that's already out. Um, if you want, I'll swing over to a, a website that can show you the specs, that, shows you, that can show you exactly, you know, how this stands with other devices. I can tell you now that this is not even beating the uh, older own device they're saying that the older own device is outperforming this device you know a lot of times those specs may not paint a full picture you know sometimes you just have to use the device yourself and figure out what's best for you but let's take a quick look at that stay tuned okay so this is AFTV um, now Look on top. On top, they have the Fire TV Cube 3, which is the 2022 version, beating everybody with their single and their multi um, benchmark scores. Then they have the Fire TV Cube, and then they have the Shield. And then they have the Shield Pro. So these numbers, like I said, can be a little deceptive, you know, because I feel like the Shield belongs on top, you know, especially with. Uh, the things that you don't account for, like the adverts, 
the customizations. You know, but this is just a test on its its power, you know, basically what it can handle, you know, when you overclock it. And I still feel like the shield should perform better, especially with their processing chip. But as you can see, they have the Fire TV Cube on top. Then you go down. You have the uh, 4K Max here, right? Then you have the, uh, the older versions of the 4K Max. Then you have the Fire TV Stick 4K. These are the regular ones. Then you have the uh, Chromecast. Then you have the regular 4K own box. This is the regular one. Fire TV Lite to me, which is very slow. Look where the own is at. The own 4K Pro is here. A33, 2050. So this is where it is standing as far as benchmarks are concerned. After that is the TiVo. Okay, so you know when you look at this and you see where it plays, it has you questioning, hmm, should I get this? Now, if you are into third party apps, if you like to upload apps that don't come with the device, if you're into customization, if you're into launchers. Um, like you into Wolf Launcher, you want your own custom launcher. I think that this device is for you. This is definitely for you. Um, if you don't like all the adverts, especially because you know the Fire TV, that's all they do. Advertisement, advertisement, advertisement. Now, um, are there advertisements in this device? Yes, there are some, but I do feel like the Fire TV and the Fire, um, the Amazon Fire Sticks are a little bit overwhelming. You know, they, they, it's just too much. It's, it's out of control. And the fact that you can't customize it the way you want, as far as your launcher and other things, and, it, you know, you always have to do a trick in order to get what you want done. You know, you have to do some third-party USB debugging or, you know, add some codes or whatever. It's just too much. If you want something out the box that you, could, you can just customize and has licensed apps, Meaning that this is not a third-party Netflix or, you know, Chromecast. You can actually use those things, the official app. You know, I will go for it. You know, I'll give it, I will give it a shot. Now, I'm going to continue to use this device. I'm going to use it for a while just to see if I feel a big difference between this and the 4K and the Shield. And I'll do another video, which will be a follow-up video. Okay, guys. So, with that said, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for future videos. Don't forget to hit that like button. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. If you have made it this far in the video, guys, like and subscribe to the channel. I am going to give away a PlayStation Portal to one lucky subscriber watching the channel. Now, guys, all you have to do is subscribe, like the video, um, watch the video in its full entirety. We're trying to get the watch hours up, guys. Once we have the watch hours up to the point where we can get monetized, we're going to give away a PlayStation Portal. So stay tuned. Continue to watch the videos. Eventually, we're going to give out this PlayStation Portal to the lucky winner. Thank you.